Pulling from an incredible and memorable thunder over Louisville. It was an amazing day in the city and we enjoyed sharing those moments with you right here on WDRB. WDRB's Dalton Godby is back on the Great Lawn tonight, hopefully with no more antics up your sleeve. No more Gilbert, no more for now at least I'll say. It was fun because I got to talk to a couple of people today, some, some big wigs in the Thunder and Kentucky Derby Festival game. They said that they felt an immense feeling of pride when Thunder happened. Pride and fireworks seem to go hand in hand. There may be no bigger stage for pride and fireworks than our city. There's this highlight, there's that highlight, and everything just ran smooth, and I'm watching these guys hand off to the next one, to the next one, to the next one, and boom, boom, boom. More than 500,000 people gathered on both sides of the Ohio River to see the largest annual air and fireworks show in the country on Saturday. Pride was evident in the crowds that filled our town and their eyes that wandered to the sky. That's the goal for 35-year Thunder veteran Wayne Hedinger. Just stop everybody for a minute and go, we're going to celebrate the rites of spring, the kickoff to the Derby, uh, all the festival events that's going to follow, and then just take pride in the community and uh, the United States. It's also the goal of the Kentucky Derby Festival. We took that two minute horse race and over about 70 years, we've turned it into a month long party. For the next few weeks, you'll find that pride across the city. Live music, good food, drone shows, silent discos, car shows, the Pegasus Parade, the Kentucky Derby. Woo, I'm out of breath. It was great to see people back on the waterfront. I would say the largest crowd we've seen uh, since 2019. There's no start to Derby City's Derby season more exciting than Thunder over Louisville. Everybody feels it. You know, you know, you can feel that coming up from the crowd. Whether it came from watching military airplanes dominate the sky, gawking at drones or staring in awe at the fireworks, it occurred that the real show is not in the air, but on the ground, with half a million of our best friends booming with pride. Give me one afternoon that I can just remove everybody from the realities of the world and let's just get into a little fantasy and a lot of pride. That Wayne Hettinger, a special person right there. Thanks for all his hard work. We loved watching with you right here on WDRB. If you want to get a list of all of the Kentucky Derby Festival events happening the next couple of weeks, head over to WDRB.com.